Okay guys, so like I explained uh, two videos before, uh, I found some old videos on the phone that uh, were from last year around this time. This next video was actually filmed on Christmas, a day or two before Christmas 2019. Uh, like I said, I explained that in the video of the Trash 6-4. If you haven't watched that, go back and check it out. Uh, but here it is. Check it out. Enjoy it. This is a good one. Uh, total 6-0 destruction. Uh, like, comment, subscribe. Thanks, guys. It's Ty with Cincy Diesel Repair. Today I got an 07 uh, at 6 liter here. We did a bunch of work to recently. Um, well, probably a year ago. And now it's in here for a crank no start. Um, so I'm going to show you how to diagnose this thing without a diagnostic tool because the first thing we're going to look at the first thing you want to look at let me pull this out oops is if you have a crank no start first always check the oil any six liter seven three because the oil is what we use to fire the injector so no oil it's not going to be able to build enough high pressure to fire the injector so we want to crank it and watch our oil pressure gauge. The oil pressure gauge should come up. If it comes up, if that thing rises and it still won't start, then you have something else. That's when you'll have to get into a computer and laptop. But I'll show you. In this case, I'm going to crank it and watch the oil pressure. It's not building at all. Not even a bit. So that's your first check. Now we're going to go out here and I'm going to show you because we don't want to rely just on the gauge itself. So let's go out here and see what else. Okay, so now we're going to pull the oil filter out. And if you have no oil pressure like this, no low end oil pressure, make sure that you have the right oil cap, oil filter cap on here. It should be the shorter one like this. If you have the real tall one, then you need to go back to the Ford cab and a Motorcraft filter. But <clears throat> let me get this off here. And when we pull the filter out, the filter should be good and soaking wet if you've been cranking it like that. And as you can see, this filter is dry as a bone. I mean, there should be oil from here all the way down just dripping off. That filter is dry. Let me set that off to the side. Now down in here, um, right there, there's a little plunger right there. Let's see if I can get it to focus a little better. But you wanna take and make sure that plunger moves. Make sure it's not bent or broken, missing, because that allows the oil to bypass the filter and can cause a low oil pressure, low oil, low engine oil pressure. Am I saying that right? Yeah. <laughs> Thanks. So this one's okay. It's not stuck. So the next thing you're gonna wanna do is come over here and sorry it's bouncy but and you're gonna pull this connector apart and you can see there's a spade in there make sure the keys out of the ignition come over here to a battery positive and I'm gonna crank this engine and we should see oil pressure we should see oil start filling up in here So as you can see, there's absolutely nothing. Nothing, no base engine oil pressure. Plug that back in. So now we've pretty much confirmed we have no base engine oil pressure, no low, low oil pressure. So now we're gonna get another truck. I'm gonna show you what to check to see if uh, the plunger's stuck in the pump. 
Okay, so we're gonna go into the passenger front of the truck here. And here's your harmonic balancer. Back behind it is where your low oil pressure pump sits. And this plug, this big Allen screw here, let me see if I can hold the camera. We're going to take it out. I already cracked it loose. And if this thing pops back at you with force, then the plunger's stuck. But, as you can see, this one's going to come out. I'm going to thread it back in just a little bit. This one's coming out easy, so I don't think my plunger's stuck. If the plunger's stuck, then... Can't get this thing back in here now, one-handed. If the plunger is stuck and that thing pops out at you real hard, get a magnet and pull the plunger out and check the bore inside of here and check your plunger to make sure there's nothing that's marred up or anything put a bunch of oil on your plunger maybe a little grease and then put it back in there and see if you don't get engine oil pressure so there's the spring let me come back out from under here oh my gosh so there's the spring that returns the plunger so if that plunger gets stuck the spring gets compressed I'm trying to push it back and you can't get it. Let me get the uh, get a magnet, get the plunger out. Okay, so I believe this plunger focus should come out easy. Sorry, but I can't do this one handed and get this thing out of here. Uh, maybe not. Try to hold it like this. Okay, there it is. So let's bring this down. Oh gosh. Okay. So there it is. Can't get this thing to focus to save my life. And you want to inspect it. Like I said, this one came right out. It's sliding, so that's not our base engine oil pressure issue. And you want to look for anything in it anything down in there I'm trying to look and film at the same time but it's actually this one's fine okay so I had actually gone out and diagnosed this truck um, as a field service uh, call and did exactly what I just showed you to do and found no oil pressure but when I pulled the plunger on the bottom of the pump I found a needle bearing in there uh, roller bearing whatever you want to call it and there's really only one place that can come from in this motor and that is from a lifter um, so we have a broken lifter or the the bearing cracked or the the roller in the lifter cracked and the bearing fell out but I'm gonna say from what we found here it's the lifter probably broke the actual wheel probably broke in half Anyhow, um, so I gave her, you know, the options here, and which are very, very expensive. If you have a lifter failure and a six liter, to really go in and do it right, you're basically looking at a complete overhaul. Yeah, to do to do the job right. Um, that's not going to happen for her. She wants to just get it running and trade it in. 
and that's what she wants you know that's fine that she's the customer um, nobody's going to get screwed over on this truck by her trading it in because unless the dealership's too stupid to realize but it's going to run like crap i mean it's got a bad lifter it's going to run like crap so that's what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and put a pump in it see if we can get it to fire up but uh let me show you we tore it apart let me show you what we found okay so here's what we found this is uh this is the front cover to the oil pump and what we're doing is we pulled the shroud out got the belt off got the harmonic balancer off we pulled the cover to the oil pump which is right here behind the harmonic balancer so here's the cover and as you can see those roller bearings tore the hell out of it not the worst I've ever seen done to a cover but it's pretty bad but it is one of the worst I've seen this is the actual pump itself now let me see if I can get it apart here pulled apart all those little marks those are all the bearings and now it's probably you know the the same few bearings passed through several times but there's a lot and it tore this pump up I'm really surprised it didn't break it but you can see all those indentions and that's about the size they're a little longer but that's about the size of the bearing so that thing's trashed just totally trashed so that's why we're not getting base oil pressure and we're going to replace the pump and the front cover but she doesn't want to spend the money to replace this the back cover or the front cover of the motor and to be honest it's I mean it's about like this in there so that's what we're going to do we're going to put a pump in it brand new Ford pump Ford cover new seal which I forgot to get so I gotta go get that right now and we're going to see if we can get this thing to at least start and she'll take it back and do what she wants to do with it okay so we got the new pump in on the balancer there pump pump cover um, I got the shroud and everything out still air cleaners out of it got a new filter ready to go in we did drain the oil tried to get anything any of the metal fragments and bearings that would come out out um, new oil in it I don't want it to start because I don't have everything hooked up but we're gonna crank it with this little trick I showed you and see if we can build base engine pressure I don't have very high hopes as bad as that cover is tore up but we'll see here There you go. We got base engine pressure. Base engine oil pressure. I think I've said that weird this whole video. And look how nasty that is. Even though I just drained it. I mean, I let this drain for a while. That's how much oil sits up in the oil cooler and the uh, uh, top side of this motor. Um, you know, but like I said, this motor's trash. This motor has to have a full rebuild at this point. It's not just a lifter. It needs everything. It needs to come out, go all the way down, in my opinion. The only way I would do it is take this out, take it all the way down, go through all the bearings, surface the deck of the engine most likely, Just definitely surface the heads, check for cracks, do all our upgrades, uh, replace the lifters, EGR, or... Uh, not EGR, but uh, ARP studs, new head gaskets. Um, I already did a bulletproof diesel EGR cooler in this thing, which I think are. Never mind. I'm not even gonna try. Um, I think are, you know, really good. I'm, I'm out of the business of deletes. You can see that oil's draining back down through that 
um, that valve I showed you, that little black valve down here. But so let me finish button it up and we'll see if I can get this sucker to fire up. But I did want you to listen, with, especially with this off. If you wonder if you have a bad lifter, listen to the popping in this intake. Ready? That's a shot lifter. Now let's see if we can get it to run. Okay, so we got the truck back together. Let's see if we got base engine oil pressure here. We do. But it doesn't want to start. Let me get the laptop out. So we plugged it in. I plugged it in this morning, let it sit all day. Um, we're going to watch. We're going to crank this thing. Right off the bat, the ICP sensor's breeding pressure that's really not there. Um, so we got ICP sensor. Uh, we got uh, IPR, injector pressure regulator percentage. Uh, we got the cam and the crank. We want to see that pop up with a one. That'll tell us they're talking. We got FICA main power, um, which might get a little low here. It's all right, but the batteries aren't the best. Let me do this, though. Let me switch the ICP. Let's put this one at... I want to put the desired pressure over here. Okay. So this tells us what the computer wants for ICP pressure. This tells us what we're actually getting. So let's crank it and see what happens. And we want to make sure, like I said, this over here, we uh, get a one pop up. So there we go. So right there, we want 580. It's saying we're getting 34, 30, we're getting way too much pressure. Um, and I, I'm sure you can hear this. I can't even hold the camera straight. This thing's loping like a pulling truck. Let me pull up the IPR and let's see if it's out of whack here. I just passed it up. Now it's going to go into a high idle because it's trying to regulate. Man, I can't hold the camera straight. This thing's shaking. IPR, uh, da, 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 da. okay. So now our IPR is fine. So we might have an ICP sensor bad with this thing too. And why it went into a high idle there is it's trying to balance these two numbers out. So it decided to do that, it would jump into a high idle and it's not gonna come back out now. But listen to this damn thing. Let me turn on a light here. Not that light. So even with the ICP being messed up, you can hear the miss. And see if we can see the blow by coming out of the pickup tube or the uh, dipstick tube. Let's see if I can set this up. There you go. That's blow by out of the dipstick. So, this motor is shot. It sounds like hell. We can probably hear a dead skip back here. Let's see. So you can hear the skip kind of going with the engine. Um, I don't know if she's going to put an ICP sensor in this thing. Because like I said, at this point, she just wants rid of the truck. So, I don't know. It's rattling the freaking doors and everything. This truck's got, what, two, 221. Sucks. It's not a bad truck. But... Uh, well, look, kick me out. 
Oh well. Well guys, hopefully if you're watching this video, the last part of this is for entertainment only. I hope you don't have a, uh, a bad lifter in your truck, but if you do, this will kind of give you a good idea. Not only that, but it'll uh, hopefully just have a stuck plunger, let's put it that way. So, Merry Christmas. I appreciate you guys watching. Um, it's late. I can't hold the camera straight, so I'm going to go inside. But thanks again. Subscribe if you haven't. Give us that thumbs up. And uh, let me know I should keep doing these things. See ya.